हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हाइकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल प्लस रू डॉट इन टूडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू सेट अप आर एच एल सिक्स इन साइड वर्चुअल बॉक्स और हाउ टू सेट अप एंड इंस्टॉल आर एच एल सिक्स रेड हेट इंटरप्राइज डाइनेक्स सिक्स इन साइड और एक कल वी एम वर्चुअल बॉक्स सो दिस इज आर वर्चुअल बॉक्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल वर्चुअल बॉक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड ए वीडियो ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ए वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू सेट अप एंड इंस्टॉल वर्चुअल बॉक्स इन साइड योर विंडोज मशीन ओके सो आई विल आल्सो शेयर द लिंक और यू कैन सी द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ साइबर साइबर सिक्योरिटी लैब देर यू विल वॉच दैट वीडियो ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल आर एच एल सिक्स नाउ गो टू न्यू रिमेंबर बिफोर सेटिंग द बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द इंस्टॉलेशन यू मस्ट डाउनलोड द आर एच एल सिक्स आई एस ओ फाइल फ्रॉम द रेड हेट ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ओके इफ यू डोंट गेट दैट दैट फाइल फ्रॉम आर एच एल रेड हेट ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट यू कैन आस्क मी फॉर ओके सो यू कैन आस्क फ्रॉम मी आई विल सेंड यू द लिंक सो दैट विल बी रेड हेट लाइन एक्स सिक्स ओके रेड हेट सिक्सटी फोर विट देन क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट give ram up to 4 gb <coughs> create next next give disk space up to 28 gb then click on create now go to setting in setting we need to make certain changes certain important changes the first one is in system remove the floppy make the hard disk first bootable device optical as second bootable device okay then you can see pointing device for rhl6 the pointing device by default is ps2 mouse here i will select usb tablet now go to storage click on input then click on the right hand side cd logo then choose the first option go to add select the iso file red hat iso file so here is rhl6 select it click on open choose then go to network Select bridge adapter here and click on OK. That's all. These are the settings you need to make before starting Red Hat 6 installation. Now click on the start button and this will start the installation. Now you can see the installation has been started. Now you can click on View. You can also click on Full Screen Mode. So, but it's Full Screen Mode not working. It's okay. You can go to a Scale Mode. and maximize it now here you can see total there are five option you have to select the second option install system with basic video driver and press enter here now you can see the disk found it's asking you to test the disk no testing disk is not required because now this is not a real a real cd this is a virtual cd so there is no chances of a scratch so you can do what you can do you can just skip using the tab key go to skip and press enter okay it said the hardware combination therefore do not support with the red hat for more information it's okay just click on okay okay now you can use your mouse so i am using my mouse and click on next then next 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 yes discard any data you can give the host name suppose i am giving host name satish then click on next you have to select the time zone according to your location my location is asia kolkata so i will select asia kolkata you will select your location okay then click on next root password give any password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay i have given the password for root user by default every linux machine has a root user root is actually the administrator now click on next use anyway here you can see so many option for disk partitioning like use all space replace existing string current system use free space and the last one is create custom layout always select the last one create custom layout and then click on next yes 28 gb partition selected then click on create then click on create and now mount point will be slash give the slash 
file system type ext4 okay now out of 28 gb i am going to give 22 gb to this root so 22000 mb is approach is equal to 22 gb click on okay and rest 6 gb i am reserving for uh, my other users or you can create a swap memory so you just select on create and then you can go to a standard partition here in place of ext4 i will select swap okay and now i am giving 4 gb ram to swap memory and then click on ok ok and then click on next format write changes to disk so it's formatting the disk now you can see red hat enterprise linux click on next again now from here you can see basic server database server these are the option available for installation software installation so i will select only desktop okay so i will just going to select this desktop and then additional package for additional package you can choose the option from here so i have selected red hat enterprise linux okay and nothing more i am not going to select anymore now click on next and it will start the installation this installation will take up to two to three minutes depending on your hardware configuration how fast your processor is how much ram you have which RAM you are using either DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 or DDR5 okay so there are DDR5 RAM also in the market right now so if you are using DDR5 it will take less time now it also depends on your processor which processor you are using Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, Core i9 which generation first generation second generation up to 12 generation okay there are up to 12 generation processor so if you are using the latest generation processor 12 generation processor it will take less time and also it's depend little bit it's depending on your hard disk if you are using ssd hard disk that will be better that will perform much better than your previous hard disk so you can see out of 1110 package we have successfully installed approx more than 600 packages so only 400 package remaining so uh, this is not going to take more than one minute So just wait and watch, don't skip anything, I am not going to skip anything, I want to show you the complete process. okay so almost done just 100 more package Fifty more packages remaining. If you have uh, read about RHL five, this is the advanced version of RHL five. Okay, the next version, updated version of RHL five. This is RHL six, Red Hat Enterprise Linux six.
I'm done. The package completed. Now the installation is about to complete. After installation, it will ask for a reboot. Reboot means restart. Then I will restart the system and I will show you. Okay. Last step. Okay. Now the installation completed. It's asking for a reboot. So I am going to reboot the system. Click on reboot. And you can see my Linux machine getting rebooted. Origin 6.4 exact version 6.4 this is booting for the first time when it will boot it will ask me some questions then i will reply so just forward here forward forward no need to create manual username just you can forward yes forward Okay, enable KDUMP, not necessary, disable it, finish, yes, okay, now done, everything done. Now here I have to type the username root password one two three four five six seven eight and here it is I am logging just select this option do not show me this again click on close and this is our RHL 6 machine you can see this machine these are the option you can see here administration everything these are the options here and you can see this is the network setting option by default you can see system ETH 0 so just click on system ETH 0 so that this machine will get the IP address and now it is connected with internet click on open terminal and type if config to check the IP address now you have got the IP address 192.168.29.24 now check for the internet connection just ping google.com and here it is you can see it's pinging from google.com it means internet is working perfectly in my system that's all about this so you need to learn how to install Red Hat 6 inside your VirtualBox machine. The proper installation steps. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching.